Hello and welcome to this quick video tutorial on e-faxing in the Oscar EMR. Uh, my name is Jordan Visco from oscarhost.ca. Uh, we're a support provider uh, based in Victoria, BC, Canada, but we support offices all across Canada. Um, the first thing to notice about uh, e-faxing in Oscar is that it can come two ways. So first of all, we can set up an integration where faxes from your fax number will come into Oscar, and we can also uh, fax out from Oscar. When they come in, um, faxes will automatically go into your inbox. Uh, your inbox is where all your lab reports come in Oscar. And if I open my inbox, um, I'll have one document in there, as you can see by the, the superscript here that says one. But there's a little icon to the right of the one, which is a star, and that shows me that I have um, unassigned documents in my account. So if I click on that, it's going to pop open a window here. And I can see that uh, there's a, ball, a bunch of unassigned documents. And I can go through and uh, click on the ones that are unassigned. And I can uh, take a quick uh, view at what the document is. Um, so if this was a fax, this would be whatever was faxed in here. Uh, there's only one page in this document, but it might have multiple pages. Uh, you can go through and you can choose a type for the document. You can give it a description. You can uh, link it to a demographic. And then you can also um, send it to a, a particular provider so that it shows up in their inbox once um, it's all been matched with a patient. Uh, once that's done, they can go and acknowledge it and it'll remove the, itself from the inbox. So it's just like lab reports where things come in. Uh, the only difference is it doesn't automatically attach to patients. You have to manually attach it to a patient. Um, Oscar doesn't have the ability to OCR the document and you know automatically figure out who the, the patient is. But the document does show up in your inbox. Um, and you can deal with it from there. Um, in order to have the la or the faxes automatically show up in your Oscar, um, you need to, in, in our case at oscarhost.ca, we ask our customers to uh, forward their faxes to an email address uh, that we set up specifically for your office. So, um, you know, it'd be your office name at oscarhost.ca and anything that comes into that email address will be uploaded to your um, Oscar account. Uh, in the inbox with unclaimed documents. Um, so you can use any email to fax or fax to email service that you'd like. Uh, we recommend SRFAX. Uh, we recommend them because they're based in Canada, their servers are all in Canada. Um, and they also have a great API that we can use to connect to for sending faxes, which is the second part of uh, the Oscar fax integration, which I'll go into now. So uh, you can see on my main screen here, my main Oscar schedule screen, I have a, a self-booked appointment uh, for uh, Tess Testerson, and we're going to hop into his chart. And there's a number of things that can be faxed in Oscar. So the first one is uh, consultations. So if I click the little plus button here beside the consults, I can create a new one. And I can choose a referral service here. So I'm going to choose urology. We have a urologist set up here. And I'm going to select them. And you can see their phone and fax number uh, will show up there. Um, patient information automatically flows in from the patient's chart. And I can go through and I can enter a reason and all the pertinent clinical information and uh, medications and stuff about this patient. And then down at the bottom, um, I can click this Submit and Fax button. And when I do that, it's going to give me an error because this isn't actually set up to fax out right now, but if it was, uh, you'd get a little success message that would let you know that that fax was sent successfully. So that's the first thing. You can um, send out your consults that way. Um, the second thing that can be sent through Oscar by fax is medications. So if I click the little plus beside medications here, I can write a new prescription. And um, this is letting me know that Ramipril here is, um, uh, is due to be represcribed. And I can go ahead and uh, send this off to the patient's preferred pharmacy. And you can see up in the right here, I have test pharmacy set as the preferred pharmacy for this patient. If I click on preferred pharmacy, I can see all the pharmacies that have been set up. We only have one in this instance. And once you set up your uh, pharmacies by clicking add pharmacy, then you can just select the one that you want. And that will be marked as the patient's uh, preferred. Uh, once you have the prescription, perfect in the way that you want. You click save and print. And then instead of um, uh, clicking the uh, print button again, uh, you will click the fax and paste into EMR. And um, that will fax off the document. And again, once that will show up once we actually have the integration fully working in this instance. So the third thing that can be sent off is um, e-forms. 
Uh, any e-form can be coded to be e-faxable in Oscar. Um, Oscar generally comes stock with a letter generator, and the letter generator is automatically faxable, but all the other e-forms need some custom work in order to have the fax button show up at the bottom of the e-form. So I'll show you the letter generator, and uh, we'll go from there. So click the little plus beside e-forms. Scroll down to uh, letter. Sorry, uh, here it is right here. Oh, that's the wrong one, sorry. Uh, if I find the letter, uh, I can then scroll down to the bottom of the letter generator, and I can either tap in another, uh, type in another fax number, or use a fax number of a provider there. I just click Add Provider. And you can see it adds them there with their fax number, and then I can click Submit and Fax, and it'll save and fax this uh, letter off uh, to the recipient. So in order to um, get the fax integration working in Oscar uh, for outgoing, you need to have an SR fax account. Um, SR fax, again, has an API that we can connect to in order to send these faxes uh, and track to make sure that they were sent out properly. Um, their pricing for their fax system is available on their website. Uh, if you call and talk to them, you can sometimes do a, a custom plan uh, that might work out better than their, their standard pricing. Um, so I would definitely recommend uh, contacting them and uh, trying to find a plan that works best for you. Um, on our end, uh, the pricing is we have a setup fee in order to set up the fax integration. So it's a $200 uh, setup fee for each the outgoing and incoming faxing. And there's also an additional $15 a month that we charge uh, to manage the outgoing and another $15 to manage the incoming faxing. And that's uh, just to have our, our tech people uh, keep an eye on it and make sure that nothing's bro broken. Um, if you have any questions on that or any questions on faxing at all, please feel free to check us out at oscarhost.ca and there's a contact us link on the top right of the page where you can find our um, information, email address and our phone numbers. Thanks a lot.